Now that you're familiar with debugging a program using debug.com, I'm going to show you how you can write your own program using debug.com and using edit.com as well, and assembling that source file with Turbo Assembler. Um, and we're going to launch debug now. And the first thing we want to do is we want to start making our program. And the first thing we want to do is use the assemble instruction. And you can see here in the help screen that the assemble, to use the assemble, assemble instruction, you have to tell the command where we want to start making the program at, where we want to start assembling the program at. So we're going to assemble our program starting from offset 100 hex. And what you see here is that our program, where we're going to assemble our program, is located at in memory at segment 2387 offset 100, or offset 100 in segment 2387. I'll explain to you what the segment offset memory addressing scheme is later and elaborate on that. So um, the first thing we want to do is to check if DOS has functions that we can use. And it turns out that DOS does have a nice function that we can use for printing hello world or printing basically any message on the screen. And the way we do that is we want to, uh, this is Ralph's Brown interrupt list, we want to search um, interrupt 21. We want to access the interrupt list by the number and we want to go to 21 because that's where all of DOS's uh, API are located at and system functions. So we want uh, our uh, write string to standard output function because that allows us to print the hello world the hello world message and the requirement we need to use this function is to set the higher 8 bits of the accumulator register with 0, 09 hex and to set our dx register to point to the data or in this case the hello world message followed by a dollar sign and that dollar sign means that um, means that once we've hit that dollar sign, we are not going to print any more messages. We're just going to stop. So now, that's what we're going to do now. So uh, we could either type in as our first instruction, move DX the data to the hello world message or move uh, AX09, but it doesn't matter. So but I'm going to use the, fr I'm going to uh, write the first instruction and uh, and I don't know where our data is at the moment so I'm just gonna fill it with zeros and I have to change this back when I'm going to fill in when I'm going to actually fill in the data and I'm going to fill in the location of this um, location of this number right here okay so I'm going to uh, initialize my 8-bit register the 8-bit high the higher 8-bit register of the accumulator with 09 and I'm going to use the N21 instruction to call to tell DOS that we're going to print messages to the screen. And then we're going to um, s s initialize the AX register with 4C00. And the reason we want to initialize it with uh, 4C00 is because uh, we want to exit DOS. And if you're not comfortable or if you're not confident that, uh, that that's what the that's what this function does. Uh, you could look at the Ralph's Brown interrupt list, and then you could see here that with a the higher eight bit register, the higher eight bits of the accumulator register or AX register, is um, when set to four C, it means that DOS will exit the program for you. And we have, that's all. That's our program. That's the assembly listing of our program. Uh, if we now we're going to have to enter our data bytes and enter the actual hello world YouTube message so we're going to enter our uh, enter our message starting from 10c and then we're going to enter the actual message with and close our ASCII characters and closed in quotes and then 0D0A is our, our our new line characters and that just basically means uh, hit enter and then shift the cursor back to the left and then and then we're going have to, we're going to have to terminate this string using the dollar sign character 
because we want to tell DOS that we're not going to print any more characters after the message and the new line characters. So after that's done, um, we can uh, we can now uh, specify where we're going to write all of this assembly file, where we're going to write all of this program to. So we're gonna specify the path and the file name. So we want to write we're going to write hworldyt.com in the root directory. So now. Uh, if you remember that uh, at offset 100, I have moved dx000, but it turns out that now I've entered data bytes starting from address 10c. So now I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to re reassemble the instruction at one, offset 100 with move dx10c, and then now that now that all is good, I'm going to write the program to disks. And in order to do that, I have to find out where the end of this program is at. So I'm going to uh, find where the dollar sign, because that's the last thing I've written to this program. I just li written the assembly listing, and I've written the data followed by the dollar sign. So I'm going to do a dump, a data dump, starting from offset 100, and I find that the dollar sign is right here. That's one two zero one two one one two two one twenty three. That's our dollar sign right there. So um, we're going to have to uh, figure out the length of our file starting from offset one hundred to offset one twenty three, and we could do this by typing the H instruction and one twenty three and one hundred. And this basically our difference is right here. This is the addition. So basically, what the H command does in debug is it calculates the addition and subtraction of two hex numbers for you. The addition is shown on the left, the subtraction is shown on the right. So um, F, so we have to write not 23 bytes, but we have to write 24 bytes starting from offset 100 because we're including 100 itself and then all the way to 123, offset 123. So we're going to write, uh, we're going to have to set our RCX register. We're going to have to set our CX register to 24 because that's how many bytes we're going to write and basically the R instruction just modifies the value of any register so you could have uh, so if you want to modify the accumulator register you could type in RAX if you want to modify the bases RBX so on and so forth so we're modifying the counter reg register or RCX with uh, 24 we're changing we're overriding whatever is in CX with 24 so um, so now we're going to write uh, our file starting from offset 100 and then and then now that our file is written we're going to quit and then now we see we have the hello world message and then if we type it in um, if we type it in uh, we have our hello world message and now I'm going to show you how you can write your assembly code in using uh, turbo assembler using edit.com then assembling that source using turbo assembler so now we're going to launch edit and then we're going to uh, now uh, for the first thing you're going to have to type in is model time you, you have to specify the memory model of what this program is going to work with like uh, like there's tiny small large and flat and what the tiny memory model is is that it uh, lets DOS know that your programs are about 64 kilobytes long. That they uh, that all the segments are pointing to one segment. That every segment register is all one segment. You're just using one segment, so your program just fits one in one segment. So we're going to uh, use the code directive to tell that to tell Turbo Assembler that we're just uh, that this is the code below and then we have our start label to tell Turbo Assembler that this is where our code actually begins and then the first thing we want to write is uh, move DX offset offset uh, offset H world this is this tells Turbo Assembler that um, that our DX register would be would be initialized with the data of with the hello world message and then we're going to Say move ah 9 h and then we want to uh, we want to append all numbers here with h to let Turbo Assembler know that we're dealing with hexadecimal values. So we're going to n21 this, 
in 21 each move ax 4c 0 h and in 21 each and that's the that's the end of our program so now we want to uh, write our what write what each world contains and what each world contains is our hello world message so we're gonna uh, declare uh, declare bytes declare a list of bytes starting from each world so we're gonna type in hello world YouTube and then we're going to use commas to uh, separate the ASCII string with the hex strings they should all have the H suffix and then we're going to uh, use, specify the write our dollar sign in quotes and then that's our pro oh wait, and we have to and then we have to include this uh, end end uh, operator to let turbo assembler know that that our entry point is right here this is our entry point this is our and if we if you want to type a comment in your source file you type it you just type a semicolon at the end of the line and everything at the right of the semicolon is ignored in the assembly process so this is our entry point entry point and then and then that's all I guess so now we're just gonna save it as um, as as H world one that ASM. Actually, I'm I'm going to get a little bit more specific and let Turbo Assembler know that we're starting from offset 100H, and that's what this org thing does. It let's its origin to let um to let uh Turbo Assembler know that our program starts at offset 100H. Oh, that's the origin of our program is 100H. So after we're finished with that. We have our ASM file, and then what we're going to do is we want to uh, um, we want to type TASM TASM in the command line, and the first thing you realize is that you cannot do that. <laughs> and then our because our actual um, TASM directory is in uh, our the act the actual location of where the program is located is in TASM slash TASM slash bin. And then we have to do slash cd into tasm and bin to launch t turbo assembler. But uh, we could use environment variables to mitigate that. So we could type in tasm bat. This is a batch file I made. Or you could just type in set set path. If you don't have a batch file, we could type in set path c tasm bin and then and then you can and then DOS will allow you to like say use TASM in the root directory. See this is a help file from TASM. And then we're now going to TASM, we're gonna type TASM followed by uh, hworld1.asm. So you can TASM an ASM file to make an object file. And our our assembly went fine so we have an object file and now what we're going to do is we're going to link the object to produce a com file so we're going to type in tlink and and we're going to type in tlink followed by slash t because we just want to create a com file we're not going to create we're not going to create some fancy xe file and if you don't specify the t parameter you're going to let TASM know that you're just creating exe files, which is not what you want. You want to create a com file in this case for this very small program. So we're going to type tlink slash t uh, hworld one dot object, and then sh that that means that your linking went fine. And then when we execute hworld one dot com, uh, we just get hello world YouTube. So that's how we can write. Uh, so there are two approaches on how you can write your assembly program. You can write write it in edit.com or you can write it in debug.com. But I usually prefer writing it in edit.com because look you don't you don't have to uh, you don't have to you don't have to like like know where the location of your H world message is at. You could just type in you could just if it doesn't matter where you place the H world declar byte declaration, you could place it right here, 
you can place it right here or right there, anywhere you like, and then Turbo Assembler would resolve that for you, and I think that's really helpful. So you don't have to memorize anything. Uh, so that's about it.